Hello guys and welcome back to Splatoon 1's Uh wait <laughs> Splatoon 3's <laughs> first official Splatfest. That's why I said one. And we've got three more weapons I want to use in the Splatfest. Um but I think uh Deep Cut up there needs to post a little performance. I think they've got to tell us something. Let's see what it is. Listen up, it's going down. Wrapping the Splatlands, we're deep cut. Anarchy Splatcast, we're live. Well, the Splatfest is on now. And the theme? Yeah, deserted island still. Great splitting so far, everyone. Let's check out the halftime report. Go, Shiver, hit us with the results. It's the moment of truth, but still anyone's game. The team currently in first is. Oh, let's see, it's team. Fun, still, but very close. We are very close, guys. We um, catched up pretty good. Um, at the start of the Splatfest. Uh, which was two parts ago, the blaster part. Um, we were second place also, but we were a bit further away from first place. And right n uh, and now it's only 0.41% um, between uh, Team Gear and Team Fun. So, again, uh, just like in the test fire split fest, we will have to attack when tricolor battles are on. Which is sad, I hoped for being a defender this time and trying out that experience. But hopefully we got a different map this time for Tricolor, we'll see uh, in a few minutes. And if so, I hope that map will play better than in the uh, test fire splash. <laughs> but yeah, Team Fun is just barely leading and I think it's literally just because of the votes, because for some reason everybody likes a big man. I mean, yes, okay, he is a cool, unique character in Splatoon, not gonna lie, <laughs> but, uh, just for the memes, I guess. <laughs> I can't believe you're not winning this thing yet. <sighs> it's far from over. Are you even ready for the tricolor battle? Yeah, I'm recording this on a Sunday. Splatfest 2 goes on, uh, goes on till Monday, but literally in the middle of the night where I live. <laughs> so, yeah. Hit us with the maps, please, deep cuts. We've got Minspeed Metaworks and Marco Mart for Splatfest Battle Turf War. And Tricolor Battles are on Hammerhead Bridge! That's the Splatoon 1 map! It already looks modified, but um, that can be very interesting <laughs> because it's a very narrow but long map. There's only really two ways you need to defend from. On the other map we had in the, uh, in the, uh, in the uh, demo split fest, there was like four or six points where you had to defend from because it was way more open. Let's see how Hammered Bridge plays out in tricolor battles. Um, yeah, Grisco's still hiring. <laughs> we know, we're gonna check that out in uh, some of the online parts. When I got the level for it actually. And there we go. Rainbow Anarchy is going on. Oh wait, other way around. Anarchy <laughs> Rainbow, right? <laughs> Why does it zoom in so much? <laughs> yeah, Splash is always a nice thing to do. But. We don't want to waste more time. It's time for some tricolor battles with our next weapon! Sheldon, please hit us with more details. Right after I grinded for some things. <laughs> for the unlockable. I'm gonna see you guys in just a split second. Alright, I am back. <laughs> I mean, you guys didn't really notice. I played like five rounds or something, five very stupid rounds because the maps are still way too accessible in this game. You just, you lose 
Because the enemy team rushes your spawn in the last 20 seconds. Literally. The matches can go on for 20 seconds and you, you, you don't need the rest of the 2 minutes and 40 seconds. You just need the last 20 seconds. That's where the match uh, is completely being thrown over sometimes. But um, with that gun we're gonna check out a new weapon. But Sheldon's uh, selection has widened, uh, uh, I think. Well, yes! <laughs> You're ready for the uh, Rapid Blaster now! The Rapid Blaster lives up to its name with an improved rate of fire and modest ink consumption. <laughs> now, if you know me at all, you know I'm going to tell you about a big trade-off and it's, uh, well, low power. Uh, yeah, but... Um, Using the ink mine to reveal enemy positions helps you make up for it. What I do is with a combo like this is use the rapid blaster to create a whirlwind of ink, then take it to the next level with a triple ink strike. The setup lets you focus on new key areas of the map. <laughs> Whenever you're defending the home base or pushing an advance into hostile territory. That's not all, you're also ready for the ink brush. It's a super lightweight brush weapon that lets you ink your way forward with blistering speed. There's not much room for power when you're moving that fast, but you can keep counterattacks at bay with plenty of splat bombs. Add the killer wave 5-1 to the mix and you've got a combo that will confuse and annoy your opponents into submission. I can see it now. You blaze across battle lines, toss a splat bomb and trigger the killer wave just in time to add a bang along as the clock runs out. Huh, <laughs> that's thinking outside the box actually. Yeah, but we've got this now, the Split Duelies. Uh, wep uh, weapon class from Splatoon 2, the Duelies. Um, these Split Duelies got not the best damage, but a relatively normal-ish range and very good mobility because we've only got two very small handguns. <laughs> uh, they come with the suction bomb and the crap tank. Special thing about the duelies is, if you fire, walk into a direction and hit the jump button, you can dodge. You can do that up to two times and then you have to, you have a little cooldown time. But enough talking, I'm just going to show you how the duelies work in online. Alright, Mincemeat Metaworks is our first map of this video. And the thing with the these duelies, is, even though it says it's got below average damage output, um, they can kill quite a bit because you've got two <laughs> weapons with a good fire rate, and especially if you roll, uh, just after the roll, they uh, both weapons focus onto one spot, and that's a pretty good damage output. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. I'm not very used to roll mechanic. I like to just jump around while I shoot, um, which will very much confuse me, I think, with the duelies. Because, of course, <laughs> I didn't even see it. The tenter missile. Uh, because with uh, with the duelies, you just roll around when you uh, do the same input I usually do when I'm jumping around. See, I just want to jump off the ink there, but as I, uh, I shot fire at the same time, uh, wait, I pressed fire at the same time, it just made me roll. I think you can even roll in midair. Yeah, you can. So, uh, there's a lot of training to do with these weapons. Where well, you got an assist on that. At least for me there's a lot of training to do, but these are pretty good weapons. Uh, in general, you've got a high walking speed even when you're shooting because they're so lightweight. Alright, crap tank time. <laughs> two tanks. Ah, was not the best usage of the tank. Sad. No! <laughs> Didn't want to roll this far. Oh god, Tenta missiles. <laughs> he launched all of them onto me. Are you kidding me? Bro, chill out. Oh god.
die. There we go with the crap tank that saved me. Ah, I couldn't kill him with the uh, crap tank bomb. Oh god, two big rollers, not good. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. They really hate me. They really hate me. Oh god, I think we're losing this one, guys. Oh crap tank. Let's ink some stuff. Because the crap tank's got a very decent range. Oh, but we lost this, I think. Oh no, actually, there was one player of our team. Let's go! There was one player of our team that could manage to break through and then with the high uh, range of the crab tank and pretty good fire rate of the crab tank, you can see on the upper side of the map I could uh, ink some decent area in the uh, enemy side of the map. So, nice! <laughs> Alright, I have to get used to um, the mechanic a little bit still. But uh, I think these are pretty nice. <laughs> I always like them. They they look sweet actually. Those are some cute little weapons. Also, I mean you've got two weapons, like come on. Isn't that cool? That's the mechanic I talked about. If you roll uh for like a second after the roll, uh it's the second where you can't move for a while. Uh they uh, will focus uh, onto one spot instead of two because usually you got two and to get the highest damage output you need to be real close but if you roll you can have the focused shots and have a higher damage output with that Men's Sweet better works again <laughs> alright two win streak Ooh, they got a splatling. Ooh, they got a splatling. <laughs> I'm really excited for having a splatling. Literally, the reason why I'm doing so many splatfest videos is splat uh, is splatling. <laughs> no, but uh, I just love um, the splatfest. Uh, actually, I mean it's something special, of course. You don't have it much. I think in in the future I will play it with some random weapons and not really uh, weapons for the display, just to get a few more videos out. <laughs> All right, got the crap tank. Hello, my boy. Oh, he also has a crap tank. <laughs> That was a funny encounter. Oh wow, <laughs> I didn't expect that, but my suction bomb got him. Come on team, you just throw a sprinkler. Oh god. <laughs> That scared me actually quite a bit. I was gonna ask you just throw a sprinkler uh, into a ink wall. Ooh. That was nasty. You need... Ah uh, yeah, uh, because it's uh, ink boosted, you need some ink to do the roll. Oh come on! There was probably just one shot missing. With a splatter shot junior? There's still people rocking only that one weapon. I've seen I've seen accounts where people literally only have the splatter shot junior and didn't buy a single other weapon. Which for me is almost kind of sad. <laughs> but I mean if they're good with it. Okay, but it's still a bit sad to me. <laughs> okay, we are doing this right now. Hopefully we can keep it that way. No sprinkler for you, sir. Ooh, 
Ooh, I do not like the looks of this. There we go. Got two crab tanks active at the moment. <laughs> you just died midair. <laughs> ah yeah, we are dominating them. Oh, wipe out two on the last second. <laughs> we dominated them. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Just 19%. That's the first match uh, of me playing online in this game. Uh, where one of the teams, doesn't matter if we lost or we won, where one of the teams had below 20%. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, we just completely broke them. <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> One more battle. Let's see if you can get a try kill a bit out of it. Ah, finally a try color battle. <laughs> I've tried a few times. This was gonna be my last tr uh, try, if try color or not. But we've got a try color battle. We are in attacking position here, still on the bridge. Um, maps changed, yes. We've got Mai Mai Resort, but, uh, hey, what? No, we've got, um, Museum Dark on, um, uh, the normal turf war mode. But for Tricolor, the maps don't change. And this map also looks very different from its original version. There's an Ultra Signal, I've got a Crab Tank. Okay, got the sniper, that's good. No, 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 come on! Yes! We've got it, we've got it! I don't care if I died, we got the first ultra signal and that's what, uh, what counts. Oh god, my teammate really didn't... Ah, care for the base at all. Still, the defenders have. Oh no! The defenders have uh, got the most in uh, turf inked. That fuzzy bomb is uh, very interesting, to say the least. Didn't know you can throw it against walls and it will change direction. I mean, it kind of makes sense, yes. Leave my teammate alone. No! Ah, I tried to take some hits and defend, but there was just so many people, I couldn't. Ah, the second... A second... Oh, Team Green is really cocky for us. I mean, yes, we are pretty close to stealing the win from them. Uh, in general. But... That's just mean, how they are going mainly against us. No, I can kill him. Yes. Yes, we've got the second one. I don't... Let's see, let's see if it brings something in the last 20 seconds. Oh my god, they covered so much turf. Okay, they, they ran into our base, but not the enemy's base. Nice, thanks very much. No, I didn't want to do that. Ah, I... Ah, the thing, I really don't know this map, because it's not like in Splatoon uh, 1. Ah, oh no. I tried to cover what he inked up on the uh, upper side right there, right? But it didn't work. But we just barely won this! <laughs> Let's go! Ah! Uh, shoutouts to Chamomile 
it was a close victory. <laughs> Whew. Uh, yeah. What do I have to say to split duelies? Um, they're they're a pretty good weapon. I like them. Um, of course you need to get used to their mechanic a little bit. But I got a Sheldon license. Let's go. But uh, they're cool. Uh, they're cool and they're pretty powerful. Um, <coughs> there's an even better version of it, which we're going to see in um, quite a few parts away. But yeah, a good weapon, uh, especially for those who like to brawl uh, or who like to confuse the enemies a little bit. <laughs> yeah, uh, can only recommend this and I hope you liked this part. If so, leave the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and activate the bell so you will never miss a new Splatoon part. This uh, series is going on for a while, I can uh, promise you that. And yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next part. I hope you have a nice day or a great night. Depends on what time you watch it. And stay safe out there. Bye bye.